Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's Sunday after the horse show, the last horse show of the season. All right, I cut myself opening a bottle. So now I'm bleeding. Anyways, it's been like 20 minutes, it's still bleeding. But anyways, welcome to today. Ugh. Today I am getting rid of the baby chickens. They are driving me bonkers. I know I love them at the beginning, but the truth is by the middle, after the first couple of weeks, they start to be stinky. So the babies aren't stinky, just the bigger ones are stinky. So I'm gonna clean them out and I have a plan, you guys, I have a plan. Okay, so basically the baby chickens don't stink, it's the bigger ones that stink. So this is my plan. I plan to move the babies out of here and put them in here. And I plan to move the big ones outside and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it right now. I got two of the little babies. These are the big babies, actually. It's nice out, actually. And they're like, whoa, what is happening? <laughs> they were pretty happy, pretty quiet. Stop running around. Ellie. She gets so mad. So we move this thing back in here. Here. Take the chickens. Is there only two? Well, Sophie's bringing some. Oh. Or the bag. Why are you guys in here? Because they're growing up. There. They're growing up. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Hey, She's beautiful. I think that gray one is too. And then the other. Oh, rooster. One of them is for sure a rooster. <laughs> That's for a sure. Comb on the two. Yeah. Both of those this are roosters. Two, two of them. Them. Oh, two are roosters. The little one. This could be mean like his father. All right, let's put lots of shavings over here so you guys can make a bed. There's a receipt. And we're gonna go in and get their food and their water. Stop it, stop it. Okay. There you go, that's your home for the next yeah. little while because no. there's not much room in there for them. They can move around and then they can go out there, which is where I'm gonna put their water. But, okay, close them up. They're gonna stay there just for a short, short time. <laughs> they're shell-shocked. I can't believe they're so big. I didn't think they were that big. Yeah, see? They're fine. We should go. So they're gonna go in a bigger area in the other barn, but not until they're, like, they have like another week until, or another two weeks until I can start weaning them off the heat. So they have to stay here and under heat until they're big enough to go in the other chicken coop, and it won't be long. Well, you have to keep the door closed so the wind doesn't... No, when the wind blows this way, it's... Terrible. Do you want to turn them? No. It's going to be hot in there. Yeah. That bed that they're in... Oh my gosh, I'm still bleeding. The bed that they're in was designed for outside. So in the house, it was perfect for like baby chickens. It was so hot. And out there, it'll be perfect for those guys. And then in like another week, they'll be ready for the big coop without heat. Um, I'll show you what we're going to do with the baby chickens. Christmas Thank you. What's in there? <laughs> Baby chickens! So now I'm going to clean out this thing. I'll set them on the stairs. Okay. And put the babies in here. Okay, little guy. Come here. See how tiny these guys are still? Oops. Come here. I swear, they're shell shocked too. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this thing off with a wet cloth and put their food and their water in and they are ready to go. You guys are ready to go. This is your new your new bed. Go underneath there and see how warm it'll keep you. It's a different kind of situation. You don't just have to walk around and be warm. You have to go underneath there to be warm. This little one here is so cute. I love this one. So, so, so cute. It's probably, maybe it's a girl. It kind of looks like a girl, but it's got those spots. And usually chicken breeds with those big spots on the top are. don't have any of those breeds that are supposed to have spots. Well, these two have spots and I bet yeah. you they're boys. Oh, isn't it so sweet? You're so sweet. So these ones are used to us a lot because they have been watching us out that window in the other room. But now they're going in here. 
I'll get you food and water, don't worry. You still get to eat. This one's really cute too. This one, this one, this one for sure is a boy. I see him challenging another boy all the time. Oh look, he's got a little heart on him. Do you guys see it? Wow, that's cute. If you're a boy, you don't get to stay, so try and be a girl, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's for sure. I mean, that's possible. But yeah, it's for sure a boy. Because I see him fighting all the time. Rebel chicken, how in the world did you get out? How'd you get out? Look, she's running right to me. We are headed out to do some stuff with family. And I am cold, you guys. But before we go, I wanted to tell you guys this because I have a terrible memory. If I do not remember to tell you guys something, then I forget. But anyways, I wanted to tell you that I found a good show to watch. There's nine seasons on Amazon Prime. And I'm going to watch it because I'm not a, a TV watcher. Like, I don't love it. So I don't love TV. Sam loves TV. I'd rather read a book. I'd rather do anything other than watch TV. There's a few shows that Sam and I watch together. It's like, yeah. Yellowstone. Yeah, I know. We like Yellowstone. We like Kardashians. We like, we like Housewives of New Jersey and Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yeah, that's what we watch. So anyways, I, whenever I find a show, like whenever I find a show that I like, I get so excited because there are not many shows that I like. And most of the time when I find a show that I like, I watch like two shows of it and then I don't like it anymore. But I'm on show number four, you guys. It's One Tree Hill. I know it's kind of an older show, but I actually really like it. I'm actually loving it. I never find time to sit down and watch it, but I've been trying to make time. Winter is the time to watch TV. Winter is the time to watch TV, and it is feeling like winter. And there's something else I wanted to tell you guys, and now I can't remember. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah, so I remembered. So last night at the horse show, when Sylvia was in the warm-up ring, Lady does not love a warm-up ring. Does Lady love a warm-up ring? No, but she's just new to warm up rings, so she just needs time to get used to it. But she gets like a little anxious when all these horses are just riding all crazy around there. And there was some crazy riders in there, like not watching where they were going, just running into people. And a lady actually, a girl almost ran into Sophie and lady actually like squealed and reared back a little and was about to say, hey, you better never run into me again. But anyway, well, Sophie was in the warm up ring I met this lady and she was so beautiful and she was talking about how like she was telling me like their horse journey and she was saying like you know my daughter's been riding for a year and they lease a horse and she's jumping and and she was just telling me her story and it was such a fun story it was just fun and interesting hearing like her story and she was saying like you know we're new to horses and I said well we're relatively new to horses too but I was telling her, you know, these are like the best years right now while you're like just leasing horses and you're just maybe about to buy a horse and your kids are just learning to jump. Like eventually you get to the stage where we're kind of at where all the best days, like there are still amazing days, but all the best days, like all the beginning and the, and the like the new horse and the, like the whole beginning of the journey is so amazing and I feel like people don't realize how amazing it is until it's over and so I was saying to her you know like this is these are the glory days these are the exciting days these are the fun days it's like the first time your kid does this it's so amazing I remember the day Gabby came home from lessons Sam took her and she said I cantered and I was like wow that's so nice because I didn't even know what cantering was and then I saw them cantering I'm like how do people put their kids on these horses and just let them do this like How's this not illegal? <laughs> and then here we are, like, I don't know. I guess this is just a reminder to you guys to always see the beauty in every single situation before it's over, before it's too late, because, because the beginning only lasts so long and then it's over. And those memories, those experiences, beginning experiences are the ones that built who you are. Like it's amazing and glorious. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys, like take advantage when you're in a situation. I know lots of times when you're starting something new, it seems harder, the struggle is worse, and you just wish those days away. Don't wish them away, you guys, because one day you'll look back and you remember that those are the glory days. All right, so something I've been learning about is that Utah in the States is a predominantly Mormon state, and Mormons can't drink. So 
so they drink a lot of pop and so they have all these restaurants in this in utah like one of them is called sips and they drink they make all these special pops it's kind of like an expansion of water talk if you don't know what water talk is it's on tiktok people get flavored water and they get a bunch of different like syrups and stuff and they make their own flavored water flavors so Sylvia and I, well, I've been wanting to try, I've been wanting to try this so badly. It's this huge trend. I guess I just should have started with that. It's a huge trend. Yeah, there may or may not be a dog between my legs. That's how it rolls in our house. But anyway, so this trend that I've been wanting to try, I'm going to show you guys. We're having ginger ale, but apparently it can happen. It, you can do it with any kind of pop. Ginger ale is my favorite. All right, let's see if I can pour it with my left hand with dogs running around my feet. I'm not going to pour like a ton because I can't drink a lot of pop all at once. <gasps> don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Thank you. And then Gabby's going to have some in this. So, you use pop and then people, you do more than this. They add like extra flavors and stuff, but I don't have a lot of flavors. I don't have any flavors. There's, I don't have any syrup. But they add creamer to their pop. All right, let's see if I can do it again. So you can use any kind of flavor of creamer. But people say oh, like a lot of creamer is good. And my ice machine is out of ice. Otherwise, we would put ice. Um, the kind that we're using is Southern Butter Pecan. It's my favorite creamer. <laughs> he just doesn't want to try it now. She's like, oh gosh, it looks bad. All right, Gabby. Tell me what you think, sister. I smelt it. It took all the fizziness out of the pop. It's good. I love it. It's so good. It tastes like... Oh, no. It's a mix between eggnog and um, a root beer float. It's like... Yeah, it's like a root beer float. It's like... With eggs in it. <laughs> eggs in it like eggnog do you like it do you like eggnog root beer float. i love eggnog and i love root beer float it doesn't taste as bad as it smells yeah it's so good but i think my my ginger ale was not cold so the bubbles aren't that did your bubbles disappear huh like my bubbles went flat i mean it's what happens when you put something in it's different i like it People drink this for what reason? Because they can't drink alcohol. Alcohol's better than that. <laughs> Since the 15-year-old. So Alcohol's better than that. So you didn't even try it. Don't you know?